among the stars the ashen fly. Beneath the nine realms move among the tree of worlds many branches. Proudly standing upon the darkness, its roots delving into caverns where light will never venture. It was when a single great ash flew down to rest upon her boughs that the light woke among the realms. After eons, the great Ashen grew weak with age and fell from the Tree of Worlds, resting upon the plains of darkness, drawing what few breaths remained. In the throes of death, the light dimmed, and the Ashen's final three breaths became the three golden ages of light. The first age saw three creatures of the Dark Plains rise above all others. The Elder Dark fed upon the light and thrived. The second marked the coming of the Listener Matriarchs, Titans who revered the light. The third breath was the Age of Man. Geffen's children. When the final breath ended, there would be a time of darkness. In that black age, the cities of man fell into ruin, toppled by war and emptied by pestilence and famine. Proud Lathyrus drowned beneath the ash. From dust to flesh, from darkness to radiance, soon the Ashen will be reborn from the ruins of its old body, and a new age of light will begin. I served the Ashen long ago, a guardian to its waning light, even though it broke me with its brilliance. Now, look to the mountain peak, for that is where fresh hope blooms. The Ashen is reborn. Behold the first glimmer of the light that will sweep the darkness from these plains. The cliffs ahead should pro- Rapid snow. Not safe, not safe. No. There are those that thrive in perpetual night and would extinguish these fledgling rays. We must find the ashen and protect it from the Elder Dark.
What a sight! Our world once more bathed in ashen light. You have felt the power of the ashen and survived. We will need that strength of yours. The ashen is still a sleeping child. Vulnerable. We must wake it from its slumber. Before we begin our journey, we must bind...